So for this assignment, I think it's important that we start with copying the UML that's already displayed in our homework for chapter five. Uh, if we start with this table, then it already gives us a map of where we need to go uh, by figuring out what is it that we are going to be using. Uh, so all we have to do is go back to our um, narrative for the homework to see which one of these is a typification table, which one is um, a resource. I see a resource here, a couple of typific typification tables, uh, another resource here, my cash, my cash receipts, my, um, my customers, my retail customers. This has to be my employees. Uh, this is my inventory, uh, my finished goods inventory, and this must be my fabric colors on A, and then we gotta fill out the ones, the twos, all the multiplicity so that we can make sure that we are identifying those multiplicities that are um, uh, one ones and those that are one to many or zero to many. And we find a one to many relationship. We know that we don't need to create a different table because those are gonna be linked by including the primary key of the table or the class that has the one one multiplicity into the table that has the zero to many or the one to many uh, multiplicity, such as this case and this case as well. You see, this is a one one into zero many. So the idea of inventory types will be included in the B table, which stands for my finished goods inventory and so forth. We can see that one of these relationships will have a many-to-many -many relationship, and therefore we need to create a stock flow containing the information of both the orders and the inventory. And in fact, if we go to our Excel file, we are gonna see the tables that are supposed to be created. We can see it right here already. Uh, we can see that this particular item, the retail retailer sales items, has a table that unites two different foreign keys into a primary ID. So the retailer sells items is gonna have a unique identifier of both of these so we can differentiate each record. Uh, so I invite you to go ahead and copy paste this and then finish, um, finish the actual diagram, maybe using a Word document and use that as guidance as you move from one table to the next. So this should be somewhere in here. I had created this before in class. If you missed it, um, well, this is kind of a refresher. Um, and that's it. This is going to be the first step. Once you have that, then you can move on to creating a UML and you should be on your way. Good luck.